What is up y'all, it's your girl Mindy, the Karmic DF from TikTok. And today we're gonna talk about the dangers of not only social media, we're gonna focus on that, but as well as being in groups, being around people, being highly empathic and not understanding how important it is to protect your energy so that you don't feel off and that you don't internalize what it is that you're actually feeling. Because I see it with a lot of my clients where people think that they're going crazy, that they're having emotions that they can't explain, and they're all like, what's wrong with me? But in reality, you're not protecting yourself correctly and you are taking on the energy of other people. So if you identify I truly as an empath not like as a trend but if you know that you feel people's people's emotions that you can tap into that then you need to understand that it's even more so than just being around someone and knowing how they feel this is going a bit deeper this is social media is affecting you in a way that you don't actually understand so in this video we're gonna try to get you to understand what's really going on so that you stop internalizing it stop thinking that something's wrong with you and what you can do to prevent this from happening so that you can live a healthy life as you're protecting yourself as an empath because your gifts are continuously coming online and if you don't learn to protect yourself now it's going to do a lot to your energy so I hope this video helps you. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you get videos from me each week and let's get into it. So we are all guilty of like being kind of addicted to our phones, right? We are in the era where social media is huge. Being on your cell phone is huge. Everything is right in front of your face. You can get to where you want to go at all times. But what you have to understand is as an empath, you literally absorb all energy. So I'm talking about like, if you're spending two hours on Facebook and you're going past those people that don't want to do the self work, right? And you see them like complaining on Facebook about their life, but they don't do anything about it. And they're kind of like low vibrational people, not to judge everybody's in their own place of growth and understanding and learning, but you are actually taking on their energy. It can go through the screen. So if you're bored and you're just perusing through Facebook, perusing through TikTok, for instance, you are picking up the energy of other people. So if you've ever noticed yourself after a few hours of being online, you feel a little like crummy, maybe you're a little more snippy, maybe you're emotional and you don't really understand where those emotions are coming from. It's literally coming from your screen. So you have to practice spirits trying to like compare it to sex, practice safe sex is what I'm hearing. But like, it really is that serious because when you're an empath, you are an emotional sponge. That is why people are drawn to you like a moth to a flame is what I'm hearing from spirit. So when you don't protect yourself in every way possible, you are allowing yourself to absorb these energies without even realizing it. And what could have started as a normal day for you, now you're feeling angry out of nowhere, frustrated out of nowhere, feeling down and out. Maybe you're really sad. And the reason could be as simple as you came across the wrong Facebook post. Someone was really pissed off that day and they did their keyboard warrior crap and you went and looked at that post and you were reading it because it's easy to fall into that stuff. And now you're feeling like crap, but you didn't put two and two together because you just go to what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling off? What, what did I do wrong? And in reality, Empaths are just highly sensitive. So we tend to internalize things if we haven't truly worked on our boundaries, understanding who we are alone and being okay and comfortable in our own skin. When we can be comfortable being alone, when we are comfortable with our boundaries, when we know that we're at where we're at emotionally, then you will notice that it's social media that's affecting you and not necessarily you. And that's where we need to get you so that you don't internalize this stuff, start to think what's wrong with me and then kind of spiral downhill. I did this in the beginning when I realized that I was, well, I always knew I was empathic, but I didn't realize how quickly I absorbed energy. And so, you know, I got labeled all these mental health issues and all of that. And once I started to protect my energy and protect my spirit, then it wasn't as easy for my energy to fluctuate the way it used to. So when you can actually realize that you were good before you stepped onto social media, then you can stop internalizing it and start to realize that you just have to do some protection meditations and ground yourself and get back to source and yourself and you will feel a lot better 
And what could have been a really bad day will actually be just you going, oh, this isn't my energy. I just need to release it. And now you're free from what you thought was something wrong with you. This is why, and I know some of you are going to be like, I can't do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It takes practice. Don't beat yourself up. This is why meditation is so important. And I'm not saying that you have to start with silent meditation. It's very important and you should get there eventually, but you need to do cleansing and protection meditation, visualizing light over you, um, doing I'm hearing Reiki. If that's an option for you, definitely do Reiki. But you can also cleanse your own chakras. Guided meditations are, there's so many on YouTube. If you do this as a daily practice, think about brushing your teeth every day, taking a shower every day. That matters to you, right? Well, it also matters as an empath to protect your energy because it is so easy to be a sponge and absorb that. And I actually thought of this video yesterday because sadly there was this very sad police shooting in a town nearby and it, it affected our entire state. And I made the mistake of scrolling through all the articles because I know friends of friends of the people involved. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, I just felt really angry and really sad. And I just started to cry and I was like, why am I crying? Like, I kind of know of these people, but I don't know these people. And immediately I heard Spirit say, you didn't protect yourself. And so I realized in that moment, oh, I've been on social media for too long. My energy is already kind of funky because the full moon just happened. And I just need to do another protection meditation and get this energy out of me. And that's the reality of being an empath is realizing that more often than not, you're taking on energy that is not your own. If you started off the day relatively okay, you're doing pretty good, and then you're scrolling on social media and now you feel off because it's so easy to fall into that, you know, unconscious, mindless scrolling, but you're also taking on the energy of every person that you're interacting with and that you're seeing. So if the people on your feed, and this is where you might also want to like think about who it is that you're looking at, who it is you're following, maybe certain people aren't meant to be in this part of your life because we are all ascending as a collective, which means we're getting more sensitive because the veil is thinning to 11 on the clock. And I've seen 111 twice already. So realize that this is your angels, your guides telling you that it's time to start protecting yourself spiritually, just like you would take a shower, just like you would take care of your hygiene. It matters just as much if you don't want to internalize it because empaths are also the type that are very sensitive and they start to wonder, well, what's wrong with me? You know, we, we often have relationships where we attract emotionally avoidant people because we're so loving, because we understand and we're sympathetic. But as you are beginning to open these parts of yourself, you are taking on the energy of other people. And this is why if you're not protecting yourself, you can often internalize this as what is wrong with me when in reality, the only thing that's wrong is that you haven't been protecting your energy the way that you need to. Just as a side note, this can also happen anywhere you go, anywhere that's a group setting. You may not be, you know, scrolling through your phone, but maybe, I don't know, you go to a bar on a Friday night and you feel like crap after you left the bar, but you didn't really do too much, right? Well, maybe someone at that bar was having a horrible day, right? And they're in a horrible mood and alcohol does not really help it. And I'm not here to judge, but I'm just saying if you're in a bad mood and you're drinking to cope, you're not really coping and then you're in a bad headspace, you're in a bad vibration. So if you're around people like that, it's really easy to take that energy on. And if you're an empath, then people probably go to you for advice. They go to you for support. So they might kind of trauma dump on you, which is why boundaries is also so important. Being like, hey, I really can't deal with this right now. I got my own stuff going on. I'm sorry. Um, I wish you the best, but unfortunately, like I can't show up for you in the way that you need right now. But hey, here's this YouTube video that helped me or something. And this is when you learn if people care about you to the extent that they belong in your life or not. Because people that use you for your empathy, they're not going to be okay with you having boundaries. So when you're dealing with people in the real world instead of just on social media, though, you'll, you'll find the same arguments when you like you don't answer messages, you don't answer text messages, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're so selfish because you won't listen to me. But it's like, I'm not your free therapist. You have to realize that your energy and your being is sacred. And as an empath, you have to stand up for yourself and realize that you are different. You're not like everybody else. You are an emotional sponge. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you can do a daily protection 
realize that, hey, I'm feeling kind of off. I need to go do another protection and start to help raise your vibration back to its normal energy. Grounding is another thing that's super important. Getting your feet in the grass. I know it sounds simple, but you can have like an anxious, like maybe even a panic attack. I've done this personally where I was feeling really anxious and I laid down in the grass and within 20 minutes, I started to feel a lot better. There are healing properties in the earth that you have to take advantage of. Being an empath means you have to honor the energy that you are working with. You are constantly feeling and interacting with other vibrations, other energies. We all have a circle of aura, like spirits showing me like, how do I explain this? Like a sphere, a white sphere. But then like you see all the chakras. Well, that's like outside of your body as well. So when you're like in line at a store, for instance, and the person in front of you is in a bad mood, you can catch that. It, it's like a cold. You can catch that. You have to understand that your energy needs to be taken care of the way you would take care of your body, the way that you would take care of your mind. It is the same thing. You are an empath honor that by honoring your needs and realizing that you might need a break from people more often than most and that's okay you might end up a little more introverted than you used to be as you were healing and ascending and that's okay understand that you are a sacred being and that you need that time for yourself 311 11 is an important number today i guess um, so maybe look that up if you need it but remember that you need to take care of yourself first to even be of help to other people because I know a lot of empaths want to be t of service to other people but if you're not taking care of yourself you're gonna have psychic flus you're gonna burn out a lot and you're gonna wonder what's wrong with me because I did the same thing I see a lot of my clients doing the same thing and oftentimes it's as simple as you need to take a step back get away from the people you're around get away from social media Get a 10-15 minute guided meditation and take care of your energy. I know it sounds simple and I know you're like, oh, it's just breathing. Trust me. God, when I started this, hand to God, I swear to you, I freaking, I hated meditation. I was like, I'm not doing it. I don't want to waste my time on that. I got shit to do. Like, excuse my language. I get the attitude behind it. I understand. But that's just a sign that you need to slow down anyway. Come home to self and start to take care of yourself. Because if you want to continue to live a healthy life, then you have to make yourself and your energy a top priority. So just a quick summary, in case you didn't understand, you are an empath, you're highly sensitive, you have to protect yourself. So start to look up cleansing and protection guided meditations, put some headphones in, 10 minutes goes by like that, it's simple. Do it in the morning, do it in the middle of the day if you're starting to feel a little bit off, do it if you've been scrolling for a little too long and you feel a little wonky, do it at night to release whatever extra shit, I don't know if I can swear on here, but we're gonna, extra stuff that you might have picked up throughout the day and know that if you continuously work on your energy the same way you work on yourself, that you will start to feel better and then you won't have to worry about internalizing it because again, I see so many people that are like, what is wrong with me? And a lot of times you're not upset for a reason you can't figure out. You're upset because someone around you was upset or you're upset because someone on Facebook was upset. It's really that simple and I know it sounds like, really? Like I could pick up anger from Facebook? Yes, yes you can. Facebook is a cesspool of anger. So especially if you're just going to scroll on Facebook for a few hours, you may wanna do a quick five minute protection meditation. Highly recommend at least 10 minutes though. But do that for yourself, 111 again, my goodness. 11s are apparently important, but do that for yourself, the way you would take care of yourself, the way you would shower, the way you would exercise if that matters to you, the way you put food in your body if that matters to you, though it should, and notice the difference. You will start to see a difference. You won't have to internalize it so much. I see so many people that are like, I'm depressed, I don't know why. I'm sad, I don't know why. And I ask them, like, what have you been doing all day? I've just been laying down, I haven't felt like myself, so I've just been scrolling on social media. Well, you probably picked up the energy of about a hundred different people. Of course you're feeling off. You need to disconnect, you need to come back home to self. And when you can do that, every single day and honor that you need that extra TLC for yourself, you will start to feel a lot better and you can finally start to take care of yourself, stop internalizing this stuff and realize there isn't anything wrong with you except that you are capable of feeling the emotions of other people and the emotional intelligence that you have is beautiful, but you have to know how to work with it. And if you don't, 
It can get the best of you. And we don't want that moving forward. You come first, fill up your own cup, take care of your energy, take care of yourself, and then you can go on to help others. And then you can go on to go on Facebook for a while. But you might want to also think about who it is that you are friends with or just Facebook friends with, not even real friends with. Maybe reevaluate the people that are in your life. Are they super toxic? Because as an empath, you're going to draw it in whether you like it or not. So how are we doing in terms of protecting our energy? Lavender sprays are also really good. Saging and cleansing your rooms, also really important. Look up any way to protect your energy and make that a priority because the sooner you do that, the sooner you can protect yourself, the sooner you can stop thinking something's wrong with you, and the sooner you can follow into the direction of who you're supposed to be. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions or any other topics you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next week. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay protected, stay grounded, and keep making yourself number one. I love you guys. Bye.